All right, how about a mail call? Let's see what I got today. What do you think of the stamp? Check this out. This is from Finsco. <laughs> Christmas stamps. Or maybe they're getting ready early. I mean, it is Finland. It is pretty goddamn cold there. So, also a friend of mine he told me about in Finland they've got basically this Christmas village. So somebody up in the North Pole, up near the North Pole, out in the wilds of Finland, where nobody lives, they built some kind of Christmas town. Um, and it just makes money hand over fist, he said. He said, <laughs> it's amazing how much money this place makes. Um, it's beautifully engineered. There's nothing else around it. So if you want to eat... Wow. Holy, wow. This is... So it's the... I didn't know this is galaxy foil. Can you see that? I didn't know this commentary is... I just wanted it before the art. I did Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Huh. So I got this for Nelia. Well, Tesa. At the time it was Tesa. Um, huh. But then she was ready to play. So I took the command tower from Sig and uh, gave it to her. <clears throat> So this one should go back to Sig. Wow. That's pretty goddamn cool. I'm really happy about that. I didn't know it was going to be that shiny. In fact, I didn't know it was foil at all. I just wanted the art and I ordered it and it came and it's cool. So in this Christmas town, they've got everything there. Santa's Elves, hotel, restaurant, Everything on, so you don't have to leave, and you can stay there and spend money. Okay, so the deck I'm working on now is okay. I thought it was some sleeves, some of these perfect fits. A few of you lads might not have encountered these. So it has a flap. It has a flap that goes into the bottom or sometimes the side and goes under the card to keep it from sliding around, sliding out. I hate those. I don't like those. That's my best leaf. Okay, so this is for Nalia. Nalia's party. Nalia's going to be... If you saw the video where I'm talking about it, fuck the Christmas town. I didn't give a shit about the Christmas town. If you care about it, just Google Finland Christmas Town, and you'll find all the bullshit that I don't know because I was there. It's just my friend telling me this hilarious story about it and how it makes a shitload of money. Anyway, let's talk about what you want to talk about, which is Magic the Gathering. So, Tesa has become Nalia. Um, problem with Nalia, I'm going through my collection, and I really don't have any. I don't have any white rogues at all. Full stop. Either black white hybrid or none no white rogues i don't have any interesting black rogues i've got a couple for the art uh, most of those are aligned with blue i have one interesting black wizard which is the um the the chick the vampire chick the uh fiend something Anyway, I only found one good wizard in my commander collection. I've got a dark confidant in my modern collection that I can employ. I can take a Nighthawk scavenger away from uh, Edgar because I f I'm getting a better card for Edgar and I need to cut something. So when I get that, it's going to be fun. Uh, so what I want to do is I want three warriors, three wizards, three uh, rogues. Of each of both black and white, so an additional six creatures. The clerics are covered. I've got shitloads of clerics in that deck, and I don't have to fucking worry about that. Nelly herself counts as a rogue, and that's in addition to. So, I bought a white shapeshifter, so it could fill whatever role in the party is missing. 
I bought a black shape shifter for the same thing, and that is Grave Shifter. Grave Shifter is just a fucking uh, grave digger with changeling. That's all it is. Same casting costs, same power and toughness, pretty much the same art. So I got this mirror entity for uh, Nelia. It's pretty good condition. That's near mint. Yep, happy with that. Uh, I just need to figure out what else to flesh out the deck. There are two lads on my YouTube channel that have given me a lot of ideas. Oh my god, one of them, uh, Knight something. I, 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 I probably should have looked at his full name before I started this video. But he, he gave, not only gave me a shitload of uh, ideas, but he explained all of them in detail. Hey, cool. God damn, that wasn't cool. They're all the same basic. I like it when my basic lands are the same. So I have these now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I wanted to get some basic lands from this set, I'll probably get a few. That's kind of pretty too. Hmm. Huh. So that's a, that's only a throw in. Maybe I'll use those. Ah, uh, there she is. So this uh, seller on in, in Prague. I decided I wanted a foil Kiku. The um, any foils before Avson restored are are beautiful. Uh, I can't think of any set before Avson restored where they fucked up the foils. In Avison restored, they fucked the foils. The foiling process looks like a layer of plastic. It looks like shit. I don't. I got rid of my foil uh, cigar to host of herons. I ordered one, got it. I hated the way the foiling process looked, so I sold it. And it wasn't until um, Commander Legends or DM2, one of these sets where she got reprinted, that I bought her again in foil. I like all my commanders to either be foil or altered. Uh, so far, I've managed to keep that, except, uh, do I have any? Kyrador is altered. Az um, Azami is altered. Everybody else, I think, is foil. And either it's because I bought the reprint. But anyway, I, I fucking did not like that. So, Hirobi has a Kiku Night Flower. <clears throat> and I decided I wanted a foil one. So, I ordered it. And uh, the seller, she wrote me and said, on further investigation, the card looks uh, EX, not near mint. Uh, should I not send it? And I said, well, what makes it EX? And she said, there's some wear. There's a little bit of scuffing there. And uh, I said, well, send it, and when I get it, I'll take a look and, uh, and let you know. But there is really no financial difference between they overlap. EX and near mint at the top of the EX and bottom of the near mint scale on MKM for foil, Kiku, and I, they overlap. So even if I complained, which I'm not going to because there's a little bit of scuffing there, um, I would call this near mint for a card this old. So I'm not going to complain. I'll give her full marks. Tell her the card looks beautiful. I'm quite happy with it. And um, even if I did complain, what would I get? Honestly, nothing. I'd be an ass if I asked for compensation because there's no financial difference. Um, and still, her living in, in Prague, the shipping was a lot faster than it would have been from Germany or Italy, any place like else. I always had trouble, when I first saw this card, I had trouble understanding it. What you're looking at is her reflection in the water. So this rose is floating on the water. And she is standing, the way I understand it, so that's her reflection about the water. Is that? I think that's how it's supposed to go. Or else you're a dead guy under the water and she's standing over you saying, haha, motherfucker, you're dead. So that's going in Hirobi. What else did I get? I got one more. So that was a pretty fast mail call. Not a whole lot, but man, that command tower, oh, it's beautiful. I did know it's foil, and it's a really pretty foil. I mean, you heard me bitching about absent restored foils, so you know how much I like foils. 
and then I get a surprise. I get a surprise like that. Oh yeah, that's cool. So what's this? This is a Skyclave Sentinel. What does this do? Three for two, three artifact gargoyle with kick. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay, era first luck one. So two cards for Herbie. Herbie has so in my modern collection I have four of the Multiverse Legends Aara. I pulled one out because I'm only running three in my mono black modern deck. Pulled one out for Herobi. And I decided, I put it on my wants list, so if I find somebody that I'm buying cards from anyway, that has one cheap enough, i order this version so I have the different art. I like to have the different art. I like different looks, different uh, uh, feels of the cards. And for my modern deck, the uh, Multiverse Legends is still kind of bright and colorful. It, it's a bit jarring. With Harobi, with the Commander deck, it's very jarring. Because overall, he is not a bright, friendly deck. He's just got big black beaters and bastards and fucking zombies and Micaeus and all kinds of nasty, nasty shit. So when you have this bright, colorful elf, <laughs> it doesn't feel quite right. So there he is. Uh, there he goes. There's his uh, AR first lock coin. Also got spontaneous flight. I just wanted the foil one. Um, it was cheap. It was basically worth nothing. And I saw this Nicoria, and I thought that's probably really pretty as the foil. And I like the <laughs> I like the art. Look at the expression of the fox's face. It's like, what the fuck is happening, man? This is some bullshit. And she's like, go, motherfucker, go! Fly, you little bastard! And my boots. I got some new boots. None of you motherfuckers better put your greasy hands on them. Or you'd be drinking build water for a month. Bastards. Yeah, um... So, this is why it's good to go through my collection. For Tesa, I decided Tesa should probably have some lightning greaves. And I ordered these because I wanted them anyway. And building Tesa gave me the reason to order them, to buy them. So I ordered them. And then I'm going through my binder. And in the artifact section, where all the equipment is, is a Dark Steel Lightning Greaves. Or Mirrodin. Mirrodin Lightning Greaves. It's like, huh. So I didn't have to buy them. But I would have bought them anyway, eventually, because I want them for the art. And it's not like, um... I don't have any decks that can use Lightning Greaves. So, there we go. Alright. Gnarly Colin, what does that do? I really don't give a shit. What is this? Uh, don't care about that. I like these basic lens, so that's kind of a nice throw-in. That's a pleasant surprise. Gives me an idea of a new basic land type to go after. But that command tower... Ooh, that's neat. Yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Wow. Let's get a group picture. Let me do it this way. See if that works. Fucking glare. Can I cut the glare? Son of a bitch. Anyway, I'll see you lads later.